hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for the values of x so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and in the first method we move 49 to the right hand side and it will becomes x minus 1 whole square is equals to 49 uh, and uh, here uh, we move this 49 to the left hand side and it will becomes x minus 1 whole square minus 49 is equals to 0 and further in the next step we rewrite this equation as x minus 1 whole square minus we write the 79 as uh, 49 as uh, 7 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so further in the next step we use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b this is the our form uh, algebraic formula which we use into the above equation you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so according to these two values of a and b we write here our below formula as in this form so first we have a minus b the value of a is x minus 1 and the value of b is 7 again the value of a is x minus 1 the value of b is 7 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we have this is x minus 1 minus 7 becomes here uh, minus 8 into minus 1 plus 7 becomes here plus 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 8 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 6 is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 8 and from here we easily get the value of x is equals to minus 6. So these are the two values of x which we get here uh, and in the next step we need to verify that is both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement or not. So for verification of these values we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is x minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1. This is our given question statement and in this side we will be verify x is equals to 8 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to minus 6. So here uh, first we substitute x is equals to 8 into the left hand side of above equation. Uh, so when we put this value here it will becomes 8 minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1. So 8 minus 1 becomes 7 square divided by 49 is equals to 1. And 7 square becomes 49 divided by 49 is equals to 1. So these two values are cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 is equals to 1. So this shows that the value of x is equals to 8 is satisfied our given question statement and now here we need to verify the second value of x so for the second value of x we substitute x is equals to minus 6 into the left hand side and it will becomes minus 6 minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and we have minus 6 minus 1 becomes minus 7 square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and minus 7 square becomes 49 divided by 49 is equals to 1 so these two are gone and we get here 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that both of the sides are also equal it means that the second value of x is also satisfied our given question statement. So it means that both of these two values uh, are the solution of this question.
so that uh, here we write the solution set of this question are minus 6 and minus 8 this is the our solution set so further we again solve this problem uh, for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is x minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1 so in uh, second method uh, here we move first 49 to the right hand side and it will be written as uh, x minus 1 whole square is equals to 49 so further in the next step uh, here uh, we just take a square root on both of the sides in order to find the roots of this equation so when you take square root it will be written as in this form so this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x minus 1 is equals to uh, we know about that square root of 49 becomes 7 and because we apply square root sign on both of the sides so that we write here plus minus sign on any one of the sides so we write here into the right hand side and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 1 is equals to 7 and the second case is we write x minus 1 is equals to plus 7 so from here we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become plus 1 and in this case we easily get the value of x is equals to 8 this is the first root which we get here from second method and from here we again move this minus 1 uh, to the right hand side so this is our minus 7 so when we move it here it will become minus 7 plus 1 and <clears throat> we get x is equals to minus 7 plus 1 equals to minus 6 this is the second root of the given equation so you see here from both of these two methods we will get here the same values of x or the same solution and now here in the first method we already verify that both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that uh, minus 6 and 8 be the solution set of this question so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos